Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Doomsday. Mayan doomsday. Mayan doomsday threats are prompting several Michigan schools to close. Are you serious? You know, I got an email earlier this morning from Adam Slozar. Adam Slozar. Now, he, his email says to me, Pastor, Pastor, talk about, talk on Facebook about a doomsday revolt has led to an unprecedented school closures. Today, December 20th, in an unusual move, schools have been canceled in two complete mid-Michigan counties. There is no school Thursday or Friday in both Genesee and Lap Lapeer counties. This follows days of security threats at several schools. And then he goes on to say, uh, you know, he, his school's canceled. All right, so then I, I, I quickly researched just an hour ago, news breaking on Fox News, Mayan doomsday threats prompt several Michigan schools to close with last Connecticut's school massacre and rumors of a so-called Mayan doomsday prophecy uh, scheduled to happen tomorrow, December 21st, 2012, my 51st birthday, but the world thinks the world's coming to an end. What? Because the Mayan prophecies, the Hopi prophecies, Nostradamus, Edgar Cayce, the Aztec Indians, and some other ancient manuscripts. But some of them do prophesy of a catastrophe, an apocalyptic event, while others, the Mayans, actually just say it's the end date of their long calendar, which was 5,125 years. Now, Here's the deal. According to, uh, according to Lapier Community Schools, there has been numerous rumors circulating in the district and in nearby communities about potential threats. WWWJAM is also reporting after school extracurricular events, programs, sports events, practices, they've all been canceled. Some other Michigan districts are also canceling their classes. Friday, supposedly, when the ancient Mayans prophesied the end of the world, stepped up police patrols as planned at the Detroit area school. So Michigan is starting to... The madness, Michigan madness, the Mayan. What? Has the, has the Mayan madness hit Michigan? It, it, apparently it has. And so, and here's another article uh, reported uh, coming out of Flint, Michigan, the Associated Press also confirming that the madness, the, the, the Mayan madness has hit Michigan. So what we got here going on, I want to calm everybody down. I know what people are thinking. Okay, Pastor Begley, you are an end time apocalyptic Bible prophecy theologian pastor. Every day you're here telling us about the world is is getting closer, that the end of the world's coming, that Christ is going to return. And it's the truth. If you study the Word of God, if you get your Bible and read it, uh, it tells you that in the last days, there will be many signs of His coming. Can I read? Here's what it says in Matthew 24. Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives. The disciples came to Him privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be? What shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And that includes the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Hopis, Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, Harold Camping, anybody out there who's telling you they got the date. I mean, you wouldn't believe in the last year, I've probably received uh, 50, at least, at least 50 different people send me emails that they, that God has showed them, or they've had a dream, or they've had a revelation on the end of the world, and they pretty well know the date. I mean, they, they, they narrow it within usually two or three days. And they're, they're very passionate about it, and they're very serious about it, and they want me to announce it. Well, there's no way. There's no way. Um... And 
I have no doubt they have good intentions, and I have no doubt that they don't love God. I believe they do love God. But, you know, you have to, you have to rightly divide the word. Okay, now here's what it says. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, divers places, and all of these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and, you, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Oh, dear Lord, we're in this day to day. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Now you can continue to read on. It talks about the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet. It will tell you that there will be two grinding at the meal, one to be taken want to be left. It'd be talking about the fig tree, which refers to Israel. Also, you read about great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, the days shall be shortened. And then, okay, so we see the earthquakes in uh, Japan. We see the radiation. We see the, the tsunamis. We see the typhoons hitting the Philippines. We see the volcanoes erupting. We've seen the massive tsunamis, that, uh, the earthquake, the tsunami hit Japan, the melting down of the nuclear reactors. We're, we're watching uh, the wars, the Arab Spring, which was de definitely prophesied in Daniel 11, 41-45 which is really a dark winter. It's the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood. We have seen massive, uh, uh, catastrophic events, and we've been watching the sun so solar flares. The Bible says in Luke 21, 25, for there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with great perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. We're watching this zombie apocalypse, the the uprising of demon spirits literally taking over. And folks are losing it. And there's all types of hate and murder and mayhem. And Damascus is becoming a ruinous heap. And Egypt has been taken over by the fierce king, the cruel Lord, prophesied in Isaiah 19, 1 through 4. Damascus, no longer a city, but a ruinous heap. Isaiah 17, verse 1. Jeremiah 49, 23 through 27. It's happening. It's happening. I, Daniel 11, 41 through 45. The Arab Spring. We've been watching it. The, the Jerusalem becoming a cup of trembling. Zechariah 12, verses 1, 2, 3. Zechariah 12, 9. For the Lord will seek to destroy all nations that come against Israel. Zechariah 14, the Israel will be attacked, Jerusalem, and will actually half the city fall into captivity. And you'll think it's going to be destroyed. Psalms 83, they will conspire. They will come together in, in a confederate against Israel and say they want to uh, remove Israel from off the earth. For its name from uh, never to be remembered, Israel, a nation again. All of these biblical signs, false Christ would rise. We've got Jose Miranda down there in Mexico, in Miami, Florida. We've got uh, Jesus of Siberia. For seven years, he's been on a mountain preaching to 5,000 people that he's the son of God. We've got Jesus of Australia with a woman that shacks up with him who says she's Mary Magdalene. He's got a 1,000 followers. Folks, we've got the David Koresh's, the Reverend Jim Jones. We've been having our false prophets, but now we've got our false Christ. And we've got some other guy that says that he's uh, Jesus in the flesh. That's that Jose Miranda guy. We've got that other dude that's called himself Ray. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Are you saved? Time is running out, not because of the Mayans, but because Jesus is coming. Are you saved? 